photos of Israeli Air Force R-64 Apache attack helicopters in action in and around Gaza highlight that some of them carry a prominent pod under their bellies. The pod, which can be seen mounted immediately aft of the 30mm chain gun, contains an additional avionics package and it helps tell a story of how the IDF ensures that its combat helicopters remain at the top of their game despite the advancing age of some of them, in particular. While not often seen, the existence of the under-fuselage avionics pod has been known about for some time. Back in 2013, there were reports about the pod being added as part of an upgrade, specifically for the first-generation R-64 model, known to the IDF as the Python, meaning Python, which was first introduced as long ago as 1990. Israel also operates the second-generation R-64D Saraf, or Serpent, equivalent to the Apache Longbow, which began to arrive in 2005. As well as the mast-mounted and forward-slash-APG-78 Longbow radar, key differences in the D model include a greater proportion of Israeli-made avionics, weapons, and self-protection features not otherwise found on the Apache. Among these are a Raphael voice communications and data suite, RavNet 300, and Elta 1891 satellite communications, with prominent bulbous antennas carried on the outer parts of the stub wings. The locally developed mission management system is the Elbit Helicom suite which provides a real-time overview of the battlefield. Finally, the Elisra Seraph self-protection suite includes an SPS-65 missile warning receiver and an SPJ-40 radar jammer as well as Elbit Roker countermeasures dispensers. With the airframe of the R-64 already being packed with avionics, not to mention fuel and ammunition, and the two-person crew, the decision was taken to add the new electronics kit in an external housing. It's also worth noting that the cheek fairings on the R-64 are already considerably smaller than those on the R-64D, further limiting the capacity for internal avionics and thus necessitating the ventral pod solution. Speaking to Flight Global at the time, Lt. Col. C., head of the Israeli Air Force's Unit 22 Maintenance and Upgrade Unit explained that the R-64 modernization also included the replacement of original wiring and some of the main computer's details of what is actually in the external pod were not revealed at the time, although the avionics were intended to bring the earlier R-64 more in line with the advanced R-64D. The Israeli Air Force did previously fully upgrade a portion, reportedly 12 of its R-64 fleet to R-64D standard. But this was a complex and expensive process, involving airframes being shipped back to Boeing in the United States for rework, and the pod solution represented a much more economical way of adding capability to the attack helicopter.